Rock and Roll Sports Classic with your host, Alex Carroll. Roving co-host, Ed McMahon. Team captains, Phyllis Diller and Sandy Duncan. Assistant team captains, Barbie Benton and Susan Anton. Reporters, Christy McNichol, Michelle Phillips, Joe Smith and Fred Travellini. And the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Our contestant, the Alessi brother. Boston, the Commodore, Seals and Croft, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis, the Electric Light Orchestra, Freddy Fender, Earth, Wind and Fire, Leif Garrett, the Jackson, Gladys Knight in the Pit, Kenny Loggins, Anne Murray, the Runaway. Helen Schneider. John Anna. Rod Stewart. And Tanya Tucker. From the campus of the University of California at Irvine. You'll find this event a little different than most events you've seen on television. First of all, the contestants are not going to be competing for money. Instead, they're going to prevent a sports broadcaster. So here is very cute, very pretty Christy McNichol. Charlie Green uh, held a record of 9.21 seconds. But with the weather today, it doesn't look like that we'll get any kind of a record. But we're going to try. Let's go to the lanes. In lane number we have Michael Jackson. In lane number two, we have William King from the Commodores. In lane number three, we have Hugh McDowell. In lane number four, we have Dash Crofts from Seals and Crofts. Lane number five, we have Jackie Jackson. We have Edward Patton. In lane number seven, we have Billy Davis. And in lane number eight, we have Lake Garrett. <laughs> Take it away, Ed. Okay, let's start the race. The runners are at their mark. Okay, Christy. They're lining up now for the very first event. Looks like they're ready. The 100-yard men's. The gun is up. And they're off. Michael Jackson off to a good start. And William King. Oh, here comes Jackie Jackson up strong. Hugh McDowell, Jackie Jackson, and William King. It's Jackie Jackson, William King, and it's Jackie Jackson is the winner. So, Jackie Jackson takes the first event of the Rock and Roll Sports Classic, winning the 100-yard dash for the East. Is rolling good now. Uh, we're gonna have a trophy for you. Here she, oh, here she is already, Phyllis, your captain. I'm so glad to give it to the Blue Blazer. Thank you very much. He is a Blue Blazer, isn't he? Well, you are moving good. Now, I want to get an update on the score because I saw a lot of yellow shirts behind you. Not enough yellow shirts, Ed. The East picks up 10 points for first place, a 6 and a 1 for a total of 17. So this is the East 17, the West 14. 50-yard freestyle swim, which means they'll go up and back one time, and personally, I think you have to be in fairly uh, good shape to win this one, and certainly accelerating off the uh, the starting block is really going to be essential to win, and I can't qualify for both, but I have a friend of mine who's fairly decent shape herself, and Susan Anton, uh, what do you think uh, about the chances of anyone in this race winning? Well, Alex, I think that the East Coast is definitely the team. We've got Sean Anna, the Jacksons, ELO, Boston, Marilyn McCoo, Billy Davis Jr., and Ann Murray. The East Coast is a winner all the way. Now for our lane assignments. Hugh McDowell, Electric Lights Orchestra.
Places, giving them a total of 24 points in the men's 50-yard freestyle. The West swims their way into the lead. All right, Kenny, way to go. You swam a good race there. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> Obviously, this beard didn't slow you down any. What did you do to train for this? I grew my beard. You grew your beard. Well, you were in... Actually, I did about uh, 80 laps for two weeks. Good heavens. Well, no wonder you're in great shape. Look at this body. Is this a body? Yeah. All right. Team captain Sandy Duncan. Thank you. Hey, all right. Well, that's one for the West, but the East will come back on strong, so we'll catch you all later. Back to you, Alex. Well, Coach Diller, your team did. Oh, that was a race. Let's look at it that again in uh, slow motion. Now, uh, there's Ronald LaFred, clearly in front, but here comes Bubba Knight, and he wins it by an expanded chest. Very good. Okay, gentlemen. Rich, we're all set. And Rod, where are you? Get over here. Now, come on. This is the kick point right here, and you know how it works? How many kicks you get? I don't know, about 10, are we? 10. ten. Best out of 10, okay. And you are going to, you've elected to defend. Going on defense. On defense, okay. You're all set. If there's a tie, we'll do a sudden death overtime, okay? No tie, get, kick the ball. Now, one point, gentlemen, before you begin, remember, the goalie cannot move until contact is made with the ball. All right, we're ready to begin. Rod Stewart. Like Rod is ready. That's the first one. And it's in for one point. One for one for Stewart. Second kick. Little high. Outside. Rod Stewart has a little experience in this because this is kind of the indigenous game of his area. He's been doing this most of his life. There's the third kick. And it's also in. A little fancy footwork here. One of the winning team will present a trophy to the school and a check for $20,000 to the UCI Athletic Fund. Here's Stewart's fourth kick. And that's it. So it's three for four for Stewart. Oh, almost blocked and got in. Stewart really looks good with that soccer ball. Four for five. Blocked it up. Good block. Four for six for Stewart. These trophies, by the way, are beautiful. Designed by Cartier. And that's in. <laughs> the gallant truck. Slow motion on that. See you on after. Stadium. August 25th. Where's Jeff? Well, Jeff's gone back to England to take a rest. Now he's going to rest. May I have an autograph? What part of England are you from? I'm from Birmingham. Oh, thank you. All right. 
Do you like the United States? Great. Great, great place, right? Yeah. Very, you like great. their music? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Soccer field, Rod Stewart's made five out of seven, that's six out of eight. Two kicks left. Another. It's Stephen Fry on that one, I guess. There's quite a wind out here today. Here's the last kick. And it's in. So Stewart finishes with 8 for 10. Let's go right now to Joe Smith in the tent for an update on that marathon. Lenny Baker, Shanana, how did the marathon go? Well, Freddie and I were coming down the stretch last, and Freddie said, well, we'll sprint for it together. It's Freddie Fender. Freddie Fender. And then he snuck out in front of me. So I ended up being last all by myself, but I guess last is best. <laughs> We both came to a live. Yes, we, we had more like a, a stroll rather than a marathon. Thanks a lot. We love you, Lenny. Yes, we do. We love you, Lenny. No one is true. We're going to hear We're blue. Oh, Lenny, we love you. Do you want a beer? Okay, we're ready for Rich Tandy of the Electric Lighter Orchestra now. He's got a tough assignment. Rod Stewart made eight out of ten. That's hot. He's going to make them all now to tie. Can't win it, but he's gonna still fight. He's in. the carnival. Is that you and Mr. John? Uh, yeah, the Altman's up there. The town? Altman, yeah. Peter Frampton, and all the other boring people in rock and roll. I no, I shouldn't have said that. Why do I open my big I mouth? Like no, they're good pals, man. This is NBC. Why He's going to get really beat, this kid. He can't play football, can he? I don't know. All he has to do is... All right, it's Rich Tandy of ELO. One for four. That wind is picking up some of those balls. That they've been there for. And that's in. Congratulations. And a kick down. Right. And it went for Barbie Benton. Wildly now. 